Hey girl, hey! My name is Mimi and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. Now, if you like to watch and discuss the ratchetness in these YouTube streets, then sit back, grab your Stella Rosa, your Taylor Port, your Mad Dog 2020, and let's get comfy. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Now, let's get into this. Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Today, I am going to react on My Jazzy Life. Look, y'all, I've been kind of enjoying taking me a little break from this train wreck. So, I mean, I've been slacking a little bit, but I'm about to get back on it. I saw in the poll that I did that you guys want more reaction videos. Y'all don't want my little rinky-dink vlogs. Well, a few of y'all do. Um, so I've decided to probably do like one vlog a week and then do maybe two to three reactions a week. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. Um, but I was enjoying my little break from doing any kind of videos and watching. I was just actually having fun watching the other reactors, jumping in their chats, you know, kiki in with them. But I got to get back on my own grind. So let's get into this video. The video that we're going to react on, that I'm going to react on today, is from My Jazzy Lives and it's titled I Have a Confession. Ooh. Girl, what kind of confession you got? Let's get into it. That's your problem right there, Jazz. You stay responding to people. Just do the shit. Do what you gonna do. And go about your business. And damn, how many clothes do y'all have? And get the damn clothes out the kitchen. Get the clean clothes out the kitchen. Get Don't even put no clothes in the kitchen. I'm willing to bet you this is some clickbait. She probably got no damn confession. Hold up. Jazz, I really think you think you skinny. Girl, you ain't know what this skinny and you got on this damn Daisy Dukes and what is that, a sports bra? <sighs> Just let her do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
ambitious. Congratulations. I'm about to actually make him some lunch and get him situated. And after the eating lunch, I don't know, he may go down for a nap. If he doesn't, I'm thinking about taking him outside. The weather is just is backwards here in Texas. You don't know if it's gonna rain. You don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm about to make him something to eat. He keeps ripping and running. Y'all, he didn't want to got, grab a pencil. That's a pencil. Oh, and I did laundry um, last night. I just got to put the kids' laundry up. I just want to get that done and get it out the way. That's stuff that I just hang up. But y'all are going to get the real deal of Holy Field in today's vlog. Legend! Like I said, the weather. I also washed the up. The weather is just so crazy here in Texas. It's warm outside, kind of, but it's, it's, I don't know, y'all, but it's crazy. Kids put their plants out there, too. All right, so I put dinner. Oh, yeah. is, this shit is boring. I can't believe this chick get paid for this. Now I know my stuff ain't. All exciting all the time, but damn, this chick getting paid to be sitting there washing dishes, mainly playing music over the video. This shit is literally boring. Jazz, you keep on with these vlogs, you ain't got to worry about me reacting because this shit is boring. Ain't shit going on. You don't go nowhere. Every single day is laundry, dishes, feeding, stank a -boo. You too young. You too young to be so damn boring. I'm gonna need you to get out. You need to get some activities going in your life. Because this is ridiculous. <sighs> Let's continue. I'm gonna make them present them on stove. Um, got some pork chops in here. Um, the frosting. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some rice and some corn. And I think I got some zucchini in there, and that's what we have for dinner tonight. Ooh. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that alone. A little bad, but bad, but it's quite so he can fit your shirt. First of all, I got this shirt in a 24 month. <laughs> it's a 24 month shirt, right? So what are you doing? See, there you go. Responding again. I got something for you to respond on. Respond about that damn refrigerator. Who put them dents in that refrigerator? Who threw that candle up against the wall? Respond to that. Since you responded, you respond to the insignificant stuff. Who gives a damn if the shirt too little or not? Nobody cares. I damn sure don't. I want to know who put them damn dents in that refrigerator. That's all I want to know. And, and while we getting confessions and stuff, can Hips bring his ass on to see what was on that damn tablet? Cause Medusa ain't saying nothing. So Hips, I need you to clear it up. What was on the damn tablet? All right, so I just, like I said, put him down for a nap. I honestly am probably gonna edit, start editing in the morning. But um, we have some new, oh, it's bright. We have some new furniture coming and I'm just trying to see, I'm outside looking, just trying to see where it's gonna go. Um, I'm super excited, it's, you know, it's for the family and it's also, of course, for just all of us. I'm just trying to figure out how we're gonna set everything up. Um, yeah, might just put it in the front. Y'all gonna see, okay, we got some new stuff coming. Furniture in the front? So she on the back porch, so does she mean outside furniture? Didn't you just get some outside furniture for outside? So if you get some more outside furniture, you gonna put it in the front. Lord, you finna have that damn neighborhood looking ghetto. Don't nobody put no damn outside furniture out front in the subdivision. That's ghetto. You need to take your ass to the projects with that. And we have to get our grass cut. Yeah. <laughs> 
she put the damn camera in the washing machine. This shit is boring. All right, so the pork chops have been marinating. And I'm not Over season? Oh, air fryer. Hmm. Think about that. Hey, you took the fat off of it. I just bought the air fryer. Okay, uh, 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 so what the hell? She got them damn booty shorts on. I'm gonna yeah. see your funky ass yeah. walk across there with them funky yeah. ass shorts on. So I'm gonna put them on the stove. Alright, so I'm gonna throw it on the stove and get that crunch. <sighs> this girl can't cook worth a damn. Why don't you go take some cooking classes? I mean, you got time to do that, I'm sure. Check out your local community college. They have cooking classes. You really need some cooking classes. I see you trying to cook something a little different. Thank God it's not spaghetti tacos or neck bones. The hard outside layer. Then I'm gonna put them in the oven. All right, I'm gonna throw them in the oven. Got those over there too. That's just nasty. Good thing she's fine as fuck. Them pandemic stamps got cut down because you on a strict budget now. Yeah, I know they cut the pandemic food stamps off here in Florida, so they I'm sure they probably did Texas as well. Hmm. But I thought your man worked all these hours and he making good money. And you say you making all this money on YouTube, so why you gotta be on a strict budget? Somebody because how expensive the groceries are and things like that, you know. And then I just gotta also just tell myself, so pick up the camera, every content. What I do is I give y'all extra content outside of my freaking comfort zone. This is my comfort zone. That's why I'm in it so much. But to give y'all that extra content, if I don't have my camera, though, you have a phone like I have right now. I'm recording my phone. Pick up the phone, record, give them that extra content. It's something different, something different to look at. And, you know, I, my little, I'm like, I got a lot of subscribers, and I feel like I just have to, it's only fair for me to give y'all new content, new subscribers, new content, because it's like, I don't want to be repetitive. And beta is over. I yeah, you are, it's already repetitive. I just gotta, um, I gotta, 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 I
that you did you said the viewers are gonna get what you give them so now you asking them what they want to see which one is it make up your damn mind video is probably gonna suck because this video is boring as hell. All she gotta talk about is laundry and doing housework. What 30 year old wanna talk about that all the damn time? You don't have shit else to talk about. Do you have a good girlfriend that y'all can hang out uh, besides Tierra or somebody else? You got anybody else? Shit, just go with Mama Dudes. She's doing a lot. And so, if I just wake up in the morning and roll one load into the washing machine, I feel like that keeps me from being so overwhelmed. Um, I've just been getting caught up on laundry. My house is it was a mess at first because of so much laundry and stuff like that. I know a lot of people say, well, you're at home all the time. You should be able to do laundry. Da, da, da. And you so, should. Laundry takes a lot out of you, and I'm saying that because it takes a lot out of you to the point that I be so tired. I don't know what it is about doing laundry. Comment down below if y'all have that same feeling when it comes to laundry. So, dude, now I, I will say, Nika plus 10, she may not have a washer and dryer, but she took all their clothes to the laundromat. That might be something you can do with you and your kids. Y'all go to the laundromat, that way you can utilize a bunch of washers wash at one time dry everything at one time and have them kids help you fold them clothes up that's a video right there I'm tired of giving you advice and you ain't taking it we don't want to edit and i'm just like girl i usually i can just drop like four or five videos 30 minute videos out for y'all and and stuff like that. So, laundry really just drains me. Um, but everything you know, drains you. Everything. I'm like doing really good at staying on top of it and not letting it drown me. So, Jazz, you need a caseworker. And I say that because I'm a caseworker. I'm a case manager. And you really need a case manager because the shit you talking about, you need help with doing, just do it. You are talking yourself through it, so why not just do it? It don't make no sense. Simple stuff stresses you out. And the thing is, you don't have to go to a nine to five on top of doing this stuff like me i'm a mom i have a nine to five i do social media and i still get the things done what i need to get done on top of going to work your job is to put out content you don't have to go nowhere else to make no money 
but this is hard for you. You need a case manager. You really need somebody to basically manage your life. Now I can actually film or I can actually do more stuff. Like my, as long as I still talk my laundry and just like my regular toys around the house, like I tell myself another thing that I've been doing a lot is vacuuming every day. Uh, I love my vacuum. You guys see me in one of my videos that shows y'all the vacuum cleaner I use. This one's probably my favorite. I, it, I haven't had problems with it, like it hasn't broke down on me. Um, it does not run out of battery. I literally just vacuum my entire house, you guys, the entire house, without it getting, um, without my battery dying. So usually my battery just dies and I can't get, I can't get anything done. So, I've been on top of that and uh, it's been really good. Keeping the house just, I feel like you keep your house clean and organized, it's minimum stress. Um, I don't feel like I have to rush my day and wake up early, early and focus on chores. Because sometimes I do that. I wake up really early and I'm literally just doing your everyday chores. And now I just feel like, okay, now that I kind of got this kind of organization, I might be able to keep it to a minimum chore wise in the summer too. Because, you know, I won't have to do so much laundry. Because the kids will be in with their dad, you know, for the week during the summer. And they'll come home on the weekend. So I would just have this the weekend. He take care of the weekly clothes over there. Um, if they purchase clothes, I'm going to send them with a couple of clothes. And, you know, they just going to have to figure something out when it comes to clothes. Because, you know, it's just a lot. And then they come home and I have to wash every bit of clothing in this house. Um, so, so like, I'm doing this. Trying to get y'all content out real quick. So, yeah, I just... She like, we need this damn content. I'm trying to get this content out for y'all. Like, our life can't go on if she don't put out no content. Girl, do you. You ain't got to put nothing out. We'll just move on to the next person. Because you ain't the only train wreck, trust me. You got Libby Pooh over there living in her box. Uh going with stray men in motel rooms whoo girl i see why y'all ain't got no friends y'all boring as hell y'all ain't got shit going for yourselves i want to come on here and tell y'all like you know i'm gonna start putting in different content putting in the work i told myself i want to do that like longer form content because i know you guys really love my long content as far as my vlog and just doing different things and i've been like I don't know what we like to call it copying. It's really called um, like idea sharing. Being a content creator, you kind of bounce off of each other. You see what someone else, else do. You're like, hey, I want to incorporate something like something similar to that. But I think the way I'm gonna do it is different. But you know what I'm saying? Like you can bounce off other people's ideas. That's the whole point of. That's all you do is bounce off other people's ideas and copy. That's all you do. And I'm sure you're you're struggling now because you don't have that friend to act like. You know, every time you get a friend, you normally act like them. I've normally I've noticed you haven't been acting how Liv act. You know, you used to say I'm that bitch. That's how you used to act. But I, I've noticed you haven't been saying that phrase um, since you and Livy Pooh done fell out. And then I've noticed you haven't been you know channeling Chrissy. You know, with the same, you know, how y'all put them wigs on and pull your sweater down to your hands and, you know. <sighs> Girl. You ain't got nobody to act like you're struggling now. Uh, you know, being a content creator, you bounce off each other and stuff like that. And plus, you, you come up with your own. You, you use what you Is see this the confession? Kind of evolve it into your own content. So that's what I plan on doing. Um, Okay. Another thing, I didn't even think about this. We were we just talking about this, and I kind of just stopped. Just, I started to read uh, three months ago. So it's like three. Um, it's like four months. I forgot what it is. But short. A short lease because Chris is, you know, saying like, we, we want to move, but I kind of don't. I hate moving. I don't do all that. I hate packing. I hate to look at all the stuff you guys have. Like, oh, I don't like doing all this. So we want to move. We might be moving in a couple of months. So I'm just going to try to just stay focused on what I'm doing now. As far as my content. And I get so overwhelmed so that we can, I can accumulate my income, okay? You know, his income 
She had to correct that lie quick. That's his income. I'm willing to bet you, you ain't got no card to access that bank account. And I bet you, I'm willing to bet you right now, you don't know what's in his account. And you ain't finna know. Why? This is what I don't like. I don't like how these little chicks be trying to act like they married and they not. You ain't married to that man. He ain't got no ties to you, not for real. You ain't got nothing locked in. And you talking about you finna move. Okay, girl. I want to see this. And kind of talk to y'all a bit, let y'all know what's been going on and why I haven't really been posting like how you do post. It's just because I didn't want to show y'all the same shit every day. Like, I literally trying to get caught up on my life. And, and the top, when you want to get caught up on your life, you gotta like get the camera down, make up schedule. Because honestly, recording takes more time out of what you did that. And my thing was, you know, I'm order, like, I do not get to the bathroom. Oh, I have an organizing video coming for y'all. Um, it's going to be like a chicken. Y'all want to Okay, I have it. That might be on my dad's stuff right now. Uh, anybody, you put it up like this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Don't worry about it. So that was Jazz's confession that they're moving in a couple months. They signed a three or four month lease. I've never heard of that, but okay. Maybe y'all are just on month to month. Maybe. How, and how do you not know how many months? I mean, if you just signed it, you should know how many months you signed it for. That's stupid. Now, when, when you start talking like that, that makes me think that you're lying about what you're saying because you can't even tell the last straight it's like okay we signed a three month lease duh that's all you gotta say so y'all again it was the same old shit different day and she talking about because she don't want to give us the same old content well bitch that's all the content you've been giving us laundry vacuuming that old nasty ass carpet uh you, you could do some decorating videos. Look, that's an idea. Decorate. Go to Ross. Find some pictures, some nice pictures to go on your wall. I mean, I guess if you're moving in the next couple months, say that for your new place, I guess. But, I mean, girl, your content is sad. It's really sad. It's, it's like... <sighs> for you to be in the game for so long this should be a breeze to you now you said when chris chris got you when bay got you that um what you call it, the tripod you said it was gonna make everything so much easier you had all this content you was finna put out and so that that's not what it is Anyway, y'all, I ain't have much to say on this. It was just a, another boring vlog. Um, we're going to still react on some stuff. Um, like I said, I'm only going to do like maybe one vlog a week and then do like maybe two to three reactions a week. And that'll be, you know, that's not too much for me. 
to handle, you know, with my nine to five, because I actually have a job. Um, so yeah. So y'all look forward to some more vlogs. And if you like today's video, make sure to hit that like button and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified the next time I post and you can be in the know. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching with me, Mimi, Planet Mimi Vlog. But thank you guys for watching. Peace.